So we recorded a video a little while ago talking about how uh, a lot of the pain and illness we deal with is all dependent on how much stress our body is able to adapt to. To build on that video a little more is another question or another issue we hear a lot of every day in our chiropractic offices at Sapi Chiropractic. And it's that people often come into us when they're in a lot of pain and quite often it's constant pain. It could be new, fresh, acute pain or it could be long-standing chronic pain. But either way, that pain is there what feels like every moment of every day and that is exhausting and debilitating so what usually starts to happen is we start adjusting someone and their body starts to function better and the the brain and nervous system starts to communicate better our muscles start to fire the right way and work as a team and a lot of the stress comes out of our tissues we start to feel better but then what so often happens to people is they'll feel like they get these relapses where the pain is as bad or worse than what it was and we'll hear almost word for word, people will say when we ask, how's it coming along? Are you getting better? They'll say, well, I think I was. Well, what do you mean by that? Well, for two or three days after I last saw you and got adjusted, I felt really good, but now I'm in pain again and it's as bad or worse than it's ever been before. So there's a couple things going on here. First of all, healing is never a linear line. I don't care whether you're dealing with back pain, migraines, getting over the flu or COVID, dealing with cancer. It doesn't matter what kind of healing you're doing. It's never a nice straight linear line. It's more like an uptrending stock market. So if you look at the chart of a stock market that's gone from here to here and everyone's made money and they're happy, there are days in here where it looks like the bottom of the market has fallen out. People are happy, then they're panicked and happy, then they're panicked. But as long as the trend is up, overall people keep their nerve and make money. Well, that's what healing is like. And there's a few reasons for that. Some of it is because there's often a lot of layers of compensation built in. And as we unwind one, another one might show up and that could bring different pain or more pain or different stress. Also, as you get better, you start to do more things and push your body more and that can create pain. But the biggest issue here is whenever something is a constant barrage to our nervous system and our brain through our senses, the brain gets very good at turning it down. So think about, it. the best analogy I can always use for this is if there's a really bad smell in a room. When you first walk into that room, the smell hits you and it's awful. Now, as long as the smell isn't so toxic that you can't breathe, over time, you start to get used to the smell and it becomes a little more bearable. But if you leave the room and then come back in, that initial hit hits you again and that initial shock of it, and it seems as bad as it was the first time you walked in. Well, what's going on here? Our brain receives billions of bits of information every second, and it has to decide what it wants to deal with and what it wants to almost ignore. And if it's getting the same stimulus over and over and over, it does get pretty good at turning it down. Now, I know there's a lot of chronic pain sufferers out there who will say, my brain doesn't turn down anything. Well, when we're stuck in chronic pain for longer than three months, there are some different issues that seem to be going on in the brain. We know what goes on, we don't know why, that keeps people stuck. But even for those people, your brain is trying to turn the pain down a little bit. So it might still feel like it's relentless and never ending, but your brain is turning it down a little when it's constant. Now what happens when you start getting adjusted by a chiropractor or you go to a physical therapist, whatever you do that's getting you results, you start to feel a bit better. Then when you have that inevitable relapse like our stock market, usually because you're doing more things and you, you pushed your stress level a little more than your body could handle, you get pain again. When that pain first hits, it's now essentially a new pain to the brain again. So the brain doesn't do any numbing or dulling yet. It's, it's trying to work out what's these receptors telling me, what's being fired at me. And so it's very sensitive to it and it's listening for it. And it's, it's almost like, patting me on the shoulder if I'm sunburned, that hurts a lot more than if I just pat myself when there's no sunburn. So then if that pain stays on long enough, the brain will turn it down again. But in a perfect world, as we're healing and getting better, we'll have these little relapses, but they'll start to happen fewer and further between. And eventually the intensity will come down with those, but the less of them you have, the worse it might feel to your brain each time it first kicks in. So if you've gone from constant pain to now you're getting adjusted by a chiropractor and you're starting to get hours or even days in between episodes, just know that no matter how intense that hit is when it does hit, 
The more off periods of pain you have, the better you are getting, and that's what you want to judge your recovery on. How many or how long are the periods where I don't have pain versus what I used to, rather than the actual intensity. So hopefully that clears up that confusion for those of you who are currently suffering from any kind of pain, but especially back pain. And if you are dealing with something that doesn't seem to be getting better and you want someone to put fresh eyes on it and take a look, we'd be happy to assess you and meet you and and see if we can help with it, and if not, get you to the right place. So we have three clinic locations right now, Papillion, Millard, and Elkhorn. You can just go to our website at sapikara.com and reach out, and, and we actually have a no risk, no obligation, complimentary consult where you can meet with myself or one of our other doctors and determine if we're the right fit for you or not. So if you've made it this far, we appreciate your attention, and if you do need one of those complimentary consults, we'd be happy to meet you and help you out.